Hi all, um, it's time for an update video. Um, haven't done one for a little while, sorry about that. Um, the main reason being because um, I, I've been busy obviously with my day job, obviously people know that. Um, but but mostly, all my spare time has been setting up the website. So um, I've made some changes to the website. The ordering system is now complete, seems to be working nice. I've taken quite a few orders for it, so that seems to be working nicely. Uh, I've also done a um, a software registration system, um, and so that's up there. Uh, they've only just gone live a couple of days ago. So if, any, if you have any problems with it, do let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see about that. Um, yeah, again, and I say this every single time, and I do mean it. Um, I am really grateful for the fact that people are actually buying into my my developments and so on. The um, the uh, the Xiaomi rigs uh, have been very successful. I mean, well, in small scale, obviously. Um, I think we're about 150 rigs now. People out there using the original Xiaomi Yi. Um, so that's actually doing quite well. The um, the Duet range. We're into the uh, low twenties at the moment through the system. These are the, what you can see at the moment on the screen. So the pro, what I call the the ProRes range. Um, the they're doing uh, they they're starting to roll out quite nicely. Um, we're not, I'm not going to be able to make a full time job of it yet. Um, but to be fair, I don't really promote it. Um, in fact, let me twist this up just a little bit. There we go. Um, I don't promote it that much at the moment because I'm waiting for finishing my uh, software. We, at the end of this video, there's uh, a progress on my software. So if you're going, oh, this is really boring. It's just waffling on again. Get to the end because you can see the streaming. Um, and the stitching software uh, and <clears throat> some progress there. Yeah, so um, so I want to thank everyone who's joined in. People, are, even if you're just you know uh, buying the rigs or or if you're buying the complete systems, you know it's it's all good. And I get so much nice feedback from people, some really nice comments. So that it, it makes it all worthwhile, and I and I, I do greatly appreciate it. Um, because obviously, I, as, as most of you know, this is at the moment it's not a full-time business. Uh, I do this at weekends and evenings, um, and so you know it, it's it's nice when people appreciate the work you do. I, and I know I'm making money out of it, so you know, hey, why not? Um, but uh, it, it it contributes. It, it's but it's not a, it's not as yet it's not a business. Hope that will change when the software's finished. That's that's the plan. Okay, so as uh, just just for fun. Um, some of you might have seen the video I did just recently. I, I went out, <laughs> I haven't bought myself a new motorbike in probably 12 years, something like that. Um, and I, I've got a couple of bikes. Uh, I have an off-roader and I have an old GPZ 900, but I wanted to buy myself a new bike, but mainly so that my, my wife and I can go out for the weekend, you know, a nice, a nice trip. So I bought myself a nice, comfy bike. And the cameras has made, not paid for it before you start thinking, oh, he's making millions of pounds. No, try, no I'm not. Uh, but it has made a, a donation to it, and I do greatly appreciate it. I mean, I really do. So, um, so let's have a look at this. Uh, let me show you the bike. So I did a little video. I think you might find it fun. Now I'm going to have to shut up because it seems to be a mixing issue with the audio. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll let me me say thank you in the only way I know. Um, so here we go. Uh, I've got to say a little bit of the contribution to this bike was from these rigs. Uh, thank you very much for that. So, uh, it's always only fair, I'll take you out on it. Now, keep still, don't move, and I'll try not to crash it. Yeah, well I didn't, so <laughs> that's all good. Um, yeah, you can go and have a look at that video if you want to, it's on my YouTube channel. If you want to know how to get to my YouTube channel, go to my site, which is brahma360.com, and there's a link at the top here. YouTube, there's my Twitter feed. I, Twitter I don't use as much. I mean, I do a lot more through Facebook. Um, so if you want to go on there, go to my Facebook page, which is which is quite a useful one. Um, I, all my news goes into this page. So anything new, like the launch of the videos, changes, everything goes into here. And pinned at the top, I do have all this general introduction stuff. Okay? All right. So um, thanks. Yeah, thanks again. Thanks very much for the... It's more of a show of faith. I mean, it's not so much the money. It's the... People think I'm doing a, a, a reasonable job here, so um, and, I, and I appreciate the nice comments. 
Okay. Uh, right. So uh, next thing, the uh, let's talk about what changed. So, well, you know, I've, I've, I've the ordering system. So you've now got on the product page. If you hover over it, add to cart. You add it to cart. As long as you've created an account, you can purchase things off it. And it takes you off to PayPal. Now, comment. Now, there is some information at the top here. As some of you may know, we had a Brexit. Uh, I voted to stay. I will say that to remain. Um, but unfortunately, the country uh, decided to leave. Um, there, there you go. Uh, that's that's where we're at. But it has meant in the short term that it's caused our the our currency exchanges to be volatile. So instantly, the dollar uh, went up 10, 12 percent. I mean, so and I buy all my the cameras and everything in dollars and euros. So it's kind of affected everything. So whereas I was swallowing the PayPal charges, I, I just can't afford to do that now. So I'm having to add the PayPal charges on the end. Uh, when you go for the, the checkout now hopefully anyone who's purchasing from outside the country um, you will notice that the pounds are actually cheaper so you're actually better off even with the extra charge if you're inside the country get in touch with me because you could I don't want to do this as a general thing um, but you could do a bank transfer um, and then we can knock that off uh, but we, we do have a problem we, you know at some point you, if it gets worse, we may have to increase the cost of the, car the, the rigs themselves. I hope not, um, but we'll have to see what you know what happens there. So that's that. Um, now, if you let's let me just let me just log in here. Um, oh, there we go. Let's pick that. Now that's my email address in case you want to get hold of me. Now I'm going to log in here. And now, if once you're logged in, you create an account. If you go, go away. If you go to the top, you see account. This is my account. I, this is just a, a test account, and you'll see there's software registration. If you click on that, now you can see here. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to do this. Let's. I'm probably going to regret doing this. But say you're a new user and you come in, and you want to create an account, and we'll put in here. Let's let's not be sexist. Miss new user. Oh, hang on, we're doing new user and I'm gonna put the uh, email address because <laughs> it, it doesn't it, I don't actually send it off to, to confirm uh, yeah new at hotmail I trust you on this stuff okay okay so I've got that in a new at hotmail Okay, right now what we'll do is we'll actually put that in. So I, I'm, yeah, I've basically created I've created a basic account. So this is usual thing. I thought I'd just show you how easy it is basically new at Hotmail. Right, now go away. Now if I hover up, you see I haven't put a photo in, and I can go in and I can edit my account. Now it, it would be nice. I mean, by now I've got your email address. Now I don't double check, you know, you know, because you. Um, at some point I will put a you know like click here I haven't had time to do that yet so I'm just gonna trust people um, uh, it, I, and I'll know if people are faking so I can just delete the accounts um, so but if, if you want to order you then need to fill in your customer detail you, your details so your your address your PayPal address and so on because we do everything by PayPal now um, if you're if you're not gonna pay by PayPal put it anyway because it won't let you go through just put your normal email address in there and we'll sort that out Putting your basic address in here, and then uh, once you've done that, then you can you can go in. But you'll see here now software registration because I'm logged in. And can you see now it's given a temporary code? Okay, I don't know why I'm lifting it up. You can see this here. Um, you can see there's a temporary code that's useful for 90 days. Um, so you can go in there and use that uh, for 90 days for free. Um, now, if you had purchased one of these ProRes range of rigs, okay, one of these, one of the, all the Brahma 7, if you purchase one of them, the system would automatically know and it will give you the final code, and it will give you a, a, a permanent code. Now, that's for the control software, so the control software is free, and the, you, later on you're going to see some of the stuff we've been doing, but for now, the control software, if you buy uh, a complete rig, okay, the control software is free. If you bought a rig for uh, from Shapeways um, for the Xiaomi rigs, then um, that's also control free. But I don't know that in the system, so you'd need to contact me. Just point me to the you know just proof of it. 
just send me a picture of rig if you want <laughs> but um you can send me the well, well, whatever just send me an email and then we'll discuss it and then i'll i'll activate it but you've got 90 days to do it um and then i can i can activate your your control software and then you can put the new code in bang and off you go so that's got now it does say there stitching and streaming sections unavailable you're going to see uh, a demo of the progress where i am at the moment later on um i've had people asking already can i download it no it's not ready unavailable um so um I, I think that's fairly straightforward that bit um and uh you know then we can keep your details again I, as far as email address yes i will probably at some uh, later on i'll do a thing where you have to click a link to activate it but it's just i'd rather spend that doing the software uh the, the actual stitching software and it's not the end of the world if someone does it i can just delete the account bar the account is fine um right so um that's the registration software so if you can all come from here uh also just so you know where to get it uh to actually get oh there's a link here see that link download click there that will take you to this page and you can have version one version 1.1 and so on download and if you click on the latest version it gives you the android mac and windows distributions just download them now i will put the android on the play store at some point um, I haven't got around to it yet. Again, it's another one of those jobs I've got to do. But you can download that, install it. You should know what you're doing. If you're stuck on it, it's quite straightforward. Copy it to your phone. Use your thing to your your explorer to go to the file, and then you click on it, and it'll install. Okay. Any problems? Come back to me on that. Uh, on the subject of the iOS, I have actually got an iOS version, and yes, it does run on iOS version, except for the fact it doesn't communicate over the network. So there's something weird going on there. So it's not working at the moment. Um, uh, very annoying. Um, so I'll come back to you on that. Uh, if we can find out what the problem is, um, then we'll fix that and then we'll make that available as well. Okay, so that's the registration and the software. Oh, uh, um, just click on products. If you scroll down, you'll see then in the all products information, you can see Brahma View Control Software. At the moment, it's also coming up as, um, right, let's go back to home and you'll see stories There's some nice stories in it but you can see on the products it's listed on the products uh, this is quite a good story this is tangy um he's got one of, oh let's get back to that because i quite like that story that phil did um if we click on this he's uh he's got one of the duets and he goes around recording 360 concerts and um, i'll probably have to shut up there's a couple of samples in here worth going and having a look at what he's doing um but it's it's actually pretty cool now you won't be able to hear me when i play this um uh, let's switch it to 4k as well so you get decent quality okay now he goes around these concerts and he records these and, and it's absolutely fantastic actually what he's doing he's, it looks like he might even start making some money out <laughs> interesting but the point was if you look up in the top if you go to here products it's at the top that's the one you want okay so that's the uh, view registration so i'm just just you know, looking at my notes here make sure i go for everything right now something that's um terms and conditions i i've, I've obviously it's part of the um, system i've got terms and conditions on there but I, and there was something to do with returns someone someone uh, asked to return the product now that's fine there's no problem at all um but it kind of opened up a thing oh i better know how i'm going to handle the returns and so on um and i can change i've actually changed it twice and now this is where i am now so basically what it is uh, someone um it, he'd ordered he'd ordered it just to see what it was like um and it wasn't quite what he thought um and he asked to return it that's fine okay because you know if you're not happy with it so but i have put in the terms and conditions that i will accept returns within 14 days of you getting it um however 
Um, and and that, that's that's fine as long as it's within 14 days. Um, however, um, what I do say in the terms of condition, please go through everything we give you about the product. Understand what you get now. First of all, it is not a consumer product. These are not consumer products. Okay, they were developed for people with a. Um, it's, n it's not point and click. So it's people who understand. It's two cameras. You have to have software to install it. You have to download videos and from the. And it's a bit more involved than your normal. Um, and if you're looking for a consumer camera, uh, there's the Theta S, which is which gives nice quality. It's, it's kind of 1080p. It's quite nice quality. There's the. Um, um, I'll, I'll come back to this later. This arrived yesterday. My Gyroptic arrived. Um, there's one of these, which is the same kind of quality as the Theta S. Uh, it's kind of nice. Again, it's point and click. It's a nice little product. Um, and then there's the Gear 360. And the Gear 360 is much higher resolution than those. It can do 4K. Um, and again, stick on a pole, press record, point and click, play. If that's what you, if, if that's the kind of product you want, don't don't please even think of ordering anything from here, purely because it's more involved now the the results you can get in my humble opinion are a lot better I mean even with the duet it's um, it's a little bit slightly more expensive than the gear 360 but the results can be better okay um, and it's more flexible because you've actually got two cameras here and it's you know normal cameras so that's future however when you get into the the the, the Brahma 6 as you can see up here the Brahma 7 um, the quality just shoots through the roof, okay. But they're, you know, they're like any other rigs, the Freedom rigs and so on, all, all the other multi-camera rigs. That you know, that you have to know what you're doing. It's not simple. It's not a consumer product. So I've put in there to say, please check. And if you go on to my, I, I've got this. Um, let's get back from here. I do have. If you go to this link, there is a link on the site. Oh, in fact, it's I think. There is a link on the site anyway, and if, if you if you want it, but you can see it in here, okay. There's a list of samples in here. Now these are raw samples, not gone from YouTube, okay. I'll come back to YouTube in a second, but you can see here now. If you look at this big file here, basically what that is is six 15-second video uh, videos from a Brahma six taken in my conservatory, okay. Uh, it was uh, it was um. The cameras were running at 24 frames a second, uh, 28 in 4K. Okay, but you can, you can do 30 frames a second um, with 1920 by 1440, which gives you an output of about six and a half K. Still gives you fantastic output, but 30 frames a second. However, this is done 24. So, but you can go in, you can download that, download the free version of AutoPano Video and AutoPano Giga. I suggest the pro version. Download that software. Download this. Stitch them. Have a look at the quality. Get a feel for what the output's like. Okay. Before, basically, what I'm trying to do is try as much as you can. Try before you buy, because I'm trying to re reduce the number of return. Well, I've only had one return, uh, and then it was a, a not an odd one. But I'm trying to stop any future ones if possible. So everyone's aware of what they're buying. So. <clears throat> now uh, try that see how you get on with it if you like it then order yeah it's fantastic it's a third of the price of existing GoPro systems same kind of quality as the the really high-end stuff um, it, it, it you get great results even more so with my favorite which is hang on, which is the Brahma 7 now I like the Brahma 7 it needs more cameras um, the reason I like it is because it's vertical seams um, it gives a slightly more, not much more, ever so slightly more output than the Brahma 6, but the key thing is vertical seams. Now also I have an adapter, so if you flip it over, there's an adapter that puts a camera on the, on the top and looks up, so actually it becomes a true 360 with vertical seams. It's more expensive, two more cameras. Um, the adapter will, will probably, if you buy a rig, will throw in the adapter. Um, but it, that's actually quite a nice rig if you've got, and then Tony, a friend at Hexascope, if you search for Hexascope, uh, he's doing some great work with this, including, um, I think he's doing a 360 movie with it, um, which would be great. I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, that's the thing. All I'm trying to do is uh, give you the facts. If you go on to my um, channel, let me go back into my channel. And if you go to playlists, in here you can see Brahma duet outputs. Um, I'm adding up to them all the time. If you've got the old Xiaomi's, you can see a load of Xiaomi, the original um, Xiaomi uh, 
Brahma six rigs, but there's a duet. There's a few duet ones actually. Um, so you can have a look at them and just to see the kind of quality. Because you know, at the end of the day, I can't afford to everyone obviously. Well, let's see what it's like. No, no, well, you know, we don't really want to be getting into that. So again, it's fourteen days. If you don't like it within fourteen days, return it. But please do your research first and talk to us to make sure it suits you. Because if you're looking for a consumer rig, this is not for you at all any way shape or form if you just want point and click um okay so that's that's the terms and conditions all right some hints uh, i thought i'd chuck in a, a hint well um, the as you probably know the brahma six the original xiaomi one they're screw-ins and i went for a different design well for two reasons firstly <laughs> these don't have anything to screw into so i went for the clip-ons um, but they can they can be a little bit uh, tricky to, to, to pop out. Um, but it, not once you know how to do it. All right. So I'm going to pop this into full screen. Oh, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'll turn I'll turn it on, shall I? God. Figures. Right. Uh, it's still recording. <laughs> you get to see the error. Right. Okay. So now what you can see here is you can see that I, I it's got two little clips and and I'll try and do this way so you can see this. Basically, you want to pull, put your finger there, pull back, twist. Put your finger there, pull back, twist. Okay, and you just kind of figure it out and just pop it out, and then it just slides out. It's a little bit of foam, but they loosen up slightly a little bit. But I, you, it, well, I had to draw the line between like being easy to get in and actually working because this is what's called strong, flexible 3D printed plastic, and it's very good. Um, but it's not unbreakable, okay? Um, but you know, you can do quite a lot on that. Push on it quite hard, and it, it's fine. So pop that in there, clip it in, yeah, and then just line it up in the square, and then clip it into place, and then it's in there. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is. If you mount there, they're clipped in. There is a very slight amount of movement. Can you see that? And let me try and hold this still. Can you see? It's a very, it's about half a millimeter. It's t tolerance, okay? Now, this does, this does hold it fine. It's no problem with anything at all. No problem stitching. However, if you're going to mount this on something and you want to go, like I did on the motorbike, and I put it on a pole on the back and I strapped it it shook and the cameras were kind of shaking a little bit now most people are going to go my god that's really tacky but here's a tip for you and hopefully you take this in the spirit it's meant if you get yourself an elastic band to put around it just cushions it and stops the cameras moving so they're perfect the sink is good okay, and it takes out that little bit of tolerance we put in there because these were really meant to stick on a pole not necessarily meant to be shaken through the you know so that's how you do that now it's the same thing with the the six and the seven uh, let me see if I can get this around here. So basically, you just put your finger on there, pull that up, okay, so it's about, and then do the same thing on the bottom and pull it up. So you've got your hand on it, and then out it comes, okay? And in here, the good thing is, once you've got one out, you can then push from the back. <laughs> push from the back and release the clips and just do it. But just don't flick it across the floor, for crying out loud. Grab it. Okay, and the same thing, putting them back in. Yeah, you just kind of slightly open, and if you can see, I've got my finger behind that, and I'm going to pull this one. Okay, so I just put that into there, and I pull that ever so slightly, clip it in. Right. The other thing to note is the way the orientation. Obviously, with this one's quite straightforward. It's pretty obvious. Okay, the lens goes in the middle, but can you see that button there? Can you see the button there? There's a button there that locates in this hole so it also locates that button okay so you can actually get your finger onto it so that's just a couple of trips for putting them in and out because i get people asking you know um it's quite straightforward uh and then all the cables you can plug in so there's a there's a little tip and if you've got any more questions you know like you want to know any more tips like that just just let me know because um you know i can answer them and i'm thinking of doing um a streaming uh a uh, bit let me go back to the thing I'm thinking of doing a video, uh, a live recording like this, but but live, um, depending on time zones and that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, so people can ask questions. Either that or just send in questions and I'll do a question and answer one, which might actually be better. We'll, we'll see what's going to happen with that. Right, so that's hints and tips. Now something a little light-hearted, not meant to be... Um, 
it, not meant to be having a moan. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's lighthearted. Some of you may remember many years ago. Uh, well, I, why did I start doing this in the first place? Well, I, I backed a Kickstart. One of the I, I backed two big Kickstarts in the beginning. One was the the Rift, which I am so pleased because hey, back in the Rift, I got one for free, <laughs> so I'm well pleased with that. Um, but I also backed another one called from Gyroptic for a 360 cam because I knew these things were going to be the future. Now, um, it arrived yesterday. Literally, it's just arrived yesterday. And um, I, I, I got it. I mean, it's love. I mean, it makes my packaging look silly. I mean, I tried to make it nice. I mean, I, I put it in a nice bag. So we have these nice bags that they go out in and they match the style of the rigs and the colours and everything. Um, but this packaging is, is, is just like it's like Apple. They've really, you know, gone to town on the packaging. It's lovely. Um, so it's it's um, it, it's very nice. Um, I'm kind of holding off here because it don't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, for some reason, it's like someone's got the CPU. I, I've looked on the online, and it's like that it's supposed to have a gigahertz CPU, and someone put one from the nineties in there. Uh, I don't know. It's really slow, and it's just it's just sitting there. Um, it, then, it then comes up with an error seventy. Um, it does then go into it, but for some reason, I, I'm sure it's something simple. I've done. I've looked at the site, and I've sent a message. I'm, I don't. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm looking forward to getting this going because this is a consumer product. Okay, it can't do the output of these. Okay, this is more on par with the old um, the Xiaomi the the Duo. Okay, it's on par with that. Um, for quality, although that's a full 360, um, this has got a massive nadir at the bottom. But it is a cute thing, and you can do lots of nice things. It's got built-in streaming. The good, the important thing with this is, you don't need auto pano software, which is another reason why I'm trying to do my software so you don't need auto pano. Um, so it's still sitting there. It's supposed to load in 30 seconds, but it's really slow. Anyway, um, so that's a, that's what I mean by consumer product. Um, I'd order that, and I know we'll get it working. I know, I know it's just going to be an early thing, but um, be nice. What I did like was I tell you what I did like, which it came with it. Oh, I can't believe this came with it. And I'm thinking of trying to get these myself. This you've probably seen these before, but I've never actually got one in my hands before. Um, and you open it up, okay, and then you clip your clip your phone into there. Uh, in fact, if I get my phone, I'll just show. You. It's actually really nice. I'm going to see if I can get some of these because it's almost one of those things I wouldn't mind including because and my software will generate this stuff, okay? And it would be so cool. So basically, all you do is you clip it on your phone. Now, obviously, you need 3D60 video and etc. etc. But it works. It works really. I was really surprised. It actually works really well. So I'm well pleased with that. Um, oh, here we go. Can you see that? Error 70. Now, on the site, it says, "Oh, please send me your email address, and I'll send you." And I say, "Oh, but, but what is it?" So I have sent it, but um, and the Wi-Fi is trying to log on, trying to turn itself on, but it's so slow. And I've left it for a half hour, and it doesn't start up. And so yeah, it's bricked. Anyway, I, I'm sure I'll get it fixed at some point. Um, I'm hoping, um, you know, we'll we'll see. So uh, for now, if I was going to rec recommend anything. Theta S for now. Um, I'll come back. To, I will back up because I'm not going to say that and then um, you know not come back with this. So if you follow my videos, you will see one later on. Once I've got it working, I'll explain what it was. Oh no, no, it's still flicking. <laughs> I'll explain what it was and I'll come back to you and I'll tell you how. And I'll, and I'll, I'll do a little video about it, show you how good it is because I have no doubt it's going to be a lovely little device. But it's typical. I've waited nearly three years. It turns up and it doesn't work. Anyway, there you go. Right, what's next? Um, progress of software. Okay, well this is um, this is kind of an interesting one because obviously now let me let me clear a bit of space here uh, because I'm running out of room here. Um, oh, uh, for people who say yes, my Amiga One Thousand. Uh, let's get that away. Uh, my Amiga One Thousand. I love its bits, and people have commented on it. In case you're wondering what it is, some people have said that it's good to see it. Um, I absolutely love the thing, um, but a uh, bit of history. Uh, right, so my software. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to boot this up in. Oh, I'm actually going to boot this up. Is it still? Yeah, 
I'm sorry, I was just checking to make sure this stream was recording. I'm going to boot this into my um, the software. I mean, I'll, actually, I'll tell you what I could do. Well, no, let's just do it like this. The reason is because um, the latest version of my software. Now, what you're going to see, obviously, is development software. This is not what you can't buy this. Well, no, this is not not released yet. Uh, well, the stitching bit and that bit's not released. Okay, so let me just run this. So you can see what I run it in, can't you? Right. So now what we've got here is I'm going to click on here. You probably, you hopefully, now when I said about registration, this is what you get. Most people are using this. Uh, I, I'm going to click on this. I haven't turned it on. Right, let's turn these on. Okay, I did. Right. So I'm going to turn these two cameras on because the, the streaming panel will not come on without this. Now, again, don't look for this button. It isn't in your version of the software yet until I've got it where I'm happy with it. Now, I also have my camera set to manually turn on Wi-Fi rather than automatically in the BIOS because I use this this rig for a number of things. So let's just make sure this is coming on. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Um, <coughs> yeah, so the one of the cameras wasn't logging into the Wi-Fi. And as I said, I've been having trouble with my Wi-Fi router, but you can see that they are very dim actually on here to be fair um, but uh, anyway they, they are both on now so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to show you the stream panel so if I click on the stream panel now it's very important to understand this the stitching here is atrocious this is not about showing you the stitching this is this is really just to show you the progress I'm making so far the uh, and the stitching is horrendous but it's one of those things as soon as as soon as I've tweaked something that I'm working on at the moment it's going to pull back in and be spot on okay so the issue I've got at the moment is uh, and now I, I'm showing this actually to put out a kind of a request this is my second or third attempt at this and I'm getting closer and closer um, but uh, not quite quite there yet now <clears throat> uh, I have a problem at the moment I'm doing a point cloud so I'm not gonna go too much in details but basically it's a point cloud system and I generate now if anyone out there is a games designer and who who roll who creates their own models in code and I don't mean goes to Blender or some other software it creates a model imports it not that if you use to create models <clears throat> I have a mathematics problems about the the actual points here and you can see it's exaggerated now I can't explain this video it's hard to explain but basically it's just the way I'm doing my point cloud um, and where the where the edges are concerned um, I need to it's my mathematics is going a bit wrong okay so it, if someone's interested um, happy to within reason happy to either pay for the assistance give a free rig with cameras that kind of thing so discuss that and if you think you know if you if you know all about point clouds development and how to code it up and then I'll, I'll, I'll obviously we'll have to discuss it but yeah so uh, ignore the stitching now <clears throat> something you can see now if I go down to here and I click on equi rectangular Right, you can now see it. there's my equi rectangular view, which is which is a live view, and this can be streamed now. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the streaming from the camera in a second, but this is the last picture that was taken that's loaded in. So it, you take a picture and it loads it in, and and it builds this up from the last picture that was taken. So you can see it's automatically stitching. Now, as I said before, ignore the stitching; it looks dire. But just so you know, the tools. Now I've done this on a very rough point cloud. It's a, for, for developers, that is, it's a, it's literally like forty points, whereas the final one is like three hundred point. Okay, it's face more than that. It's about sixty thousand points to be honest. So it's much more fine grained. But I'm doing this so I can see where the areas of stitching go. So I know what's got to be done. I know exactly what's got to be done. It's just my maths has let me down a bit because I'm not John Carmack. Okay, so it's just let me down a little bit. Once this is fixed, that's fine. Now, so what I'm showing this for, so you can see. This will be the equi rectangular. You can then stream this. I can stream this now. I've had it on YouTube, and I can stream it to headsets. It's fine. It works. The only thing that's holding me back is this point cloud. I've just got to fix it, and then I'm done. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the stream so you can actually see. Okay. Now, again, ignore the problems, right? I'm going to pick this up, put this here. Which way around are we going? Okay, can you see that? Now, the other thing to bear in mind is this. Um, the quality is not as good as it's going to be because uh, the bitrate on here has been set for this is the, going over Wi-Fi so the bitrate has been set very very low 
Um, it's 1280 by 960 resolution per camera, but the bit rate is very low. Um, I'm going to get the, the they're up in the bit rate for me, so we get much much better quality and make the most of this resolution. Okay, but you can see it's you know it's not bad. Okay. Now, of course, don't forget, this is the equi rectangular view. All right, so I can turn it around. Now, you see how the, uh, the, yeah, but look, they're miles apart. You're miles away. Okay, well, how about, I've got tools in here. But once it's finished, you just pull the camera in, yeah? So this is what you do. with. Now, it's very grainy at the moment, you know, like it's a very um, inaccurate uh, move. But you see, I mean, I'm literally just, I twist the camera, the, the point clouds, and that's how it's going to work. Once the if you see it with the high grain, you see it moves in very very slowly. It's very subtle adjustment. But you see, I can pull it in, pull it out, and I can twist it. Yeah. Now at the moment, it's actually doing both cameras at the same time. Um, I've actually got to do it so that it's individual cameras. You're just basically in changing the point cloud accordingly. I'm telling this because for people, anyone who is thinking that mm, this might be cool. Now this is about. A day's worth of code in a way for someone who understands point clouds, okay? And I'll probably solve this myself, all right? Let's be honest, I'll probably solve this myself. But if someone wants to come along and just help me with this, it's probably about half a day to a day of coding, all right? Which I'll pay quite a decent amount of money, all right? Just to help me, just to get this bit right. Then we have a live streaming system. Now, what is important? What's good about this live streaming system? Well, I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah, you know this is about a two-second delay. Um, what's good about this is this can stream anywhere it can record this anywhere you can save it take a photo everything's instant it's live none of that mucking about but it's based on point clouds hard coding so it's not done auto pano video and auto pano giga is rocket science it's basically look at the image and understand the points and going oh well, that goes that way doesn't it well I can't do that I'm not that bright I'm a bit stupid to be honest so this is working on the way I understand and I and I will probably have this fixed. You'll probably find I'll do another video shortly. <laughs> I've got <it> fixed, <laughs> right? Um, but if someone wants to come in and get involved, you know. Now I'm showing this because if anybody out there is interested, who there's always these millionaires around, isn't there? Right? They want. Oh, do you know what? I want to get into this 360 video. There you go. Interested? Give me a call because I'd like. I'm, at the moment, I'm doing this, doing this evening. It's just a bit of fun. Um, but I'm I'm trying to turn this into a proper business, um, and. I think you can see that apart from that bit of stitching which just needs fixing, I'm almost there. Right? And then this is a live streaming system. And then, you know, you know, we can put put this into headsets. And I've got a few other ideas I'm not showing. There's a few other things that will trick some of us leave as well, which this will be able to do, which others can't. Um, but there you go, so that's uh, that's live. Oh, and by the way, did I mention Oh uh, two things. First of all, before I have a moan at someone else, uh, another company. This is, as I said, 1280 by 960 each camera, okay? If you connect these via cameras, now that's at the moment, if you connect these via cameras, uh, so <laughs> if you connect these cameras via USB, that goes up to 1920 by 1440, which is all about 2.5K, okay? 2.5 to 3K, two cameras. It's getting very, very good quality, okay? That's more than good enough for streaming events. Okay, and that's what I'm hoping to do is have this is for event streaming. But I just need to fix this little problem. So um, that's good. Now, uh, having said that, um, there is new cameras at some point coming. I mean, I'll give an example. Of what, okay, the new. I'm going to come back to Xiaomi's in a bit. New Xiaomi. That's got higher Wi-Fi speed. And whilst this one, um, the Wi-Fi is, it, it's. I mean, that's still bloody good to be fair. Once the bit rates up, they're still pretty good. Um, the Wi-Fi speed is going to go up on the new versions, and as t over time, Wi-Fi will speed, and I'll be able to get really good speed, you know, like 3K, 2.5, 3K. And maybe over time, we'll be able to get out to 4K actual streaming. But this, this is, I think, pretty good. Okay, so that's that's pretty much that. Um, so hopefully, you like that, and you can see that it's good work in progress. Oh, wave. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's, uh, let me just kind of really weird. <laughs> All right, let me just escape out of this. Yes. All right, now I'm going to stop that. So you can see I do it in Unity. Um, at some point I will. Cause one of the good things about this project, it by paying actual money, is it means oh, I've got that one there as well. Look, that's that's the actual software version. Let's get rid of that. Um, 
it means that I can afford I, at some point I will go out and I'm going to buy the, again well buy again because I've had it before I buy again the um, the unity software professional version the problem is for me is that um, it's very expensive because I it's, it's a very expensive package but also you it's the same price again for the Android player and the same price again for iOS um, and it's, it's of cost a fortune for all three so um, we're gonna have to I've got to make a decision on that because it's, it is very expensive it was just a case of buy the pack I would have bought it by now um, but it's because of the cost and that, you know so I'm allowed to use it because I'm under the threshold um, which is which is good news so for now that's fine okay um, final thing so you've seen the progress of the software uh, I've had a been talking with um, Xiaomi for a while and I thought we kind of not, not for now it's wrong word but I thought we kind of they called, called off a bit because they did this deal or deal or they've got this thing going on with Google and uh, so I thought they would ignore me because I said, well, look, you know, you, the, the camera, they were going to send me a, 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 I keep looking at that, I apologise, sorry. They were going to send me a sample Yi 4K. Um, and um, I, they, they kind of went off the went off the board, but they, they very kindly sent me one out. So I should be getting one in two or three days. Now, what this means is that I'm going to do a, a duet and the six and the seven and the adapter for the eight. So all the new rigs I'm going to adapt to fit the Xiaomi when it arrives and also if the API um, is workable which hopefully well I, mean, I did the software with the old version but if it's if I can I'll make my software work with the the, the 4k ones as well um, also that means then you know for streaming and the real-time streaming the stitching and everything else you, you'll get all that functionality over time uh, the key thing here is to bear in mind though the the price of the camera seems to be twice the price of the git 2s so they're not I mean these are just they're not actually true 4k they're just under 4k but it, for all intents and purposes they're 4k but the uh, Yi 4k is a true 4k camera um, a bit more flexible potentially has a, high, a faster Wi-Fi and there's a few nice things about it um, but they are twice the price so for example this the 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 uh, Brahma 6 for the the ProRes for the um, Git 2s is 800 pounds at the moment uh, I would expect for the Xiaomi 4Ks is going to be like £1,500. It's a bit of a jump. <clears throat> this is why I didn't want to use the, the GoPros because of the price was so high. So we'll see what happens. However, what I am going to do, I haven't done this for the GoPros and I probably never will, but what I, ha ha I am going to do is I'm going to do the Brahma 6 okay, and the 7 and the, uh, the Duo for the E2s. Okay, so you can buy the rigs and you'll be able to get them straight away and off you go. And I'll try and support them with software hopefully as well. So we'll see what happens when it arrives. Um, I'll, I'll give you some information about that. But I, at the moment my focus is still around the Git 2 because it's half the prices of the new 4K. So uh, And the results of these things are fantastic. <clears throat> and it, it is at the end of the day. That's why I got into this because the, the GoPro rigs were two and a half, two, two and a half thousand pounds for the high end thing. And I believe I'm competing with it for 800 pounds. That's my opinion. So we'll, we'll see what happens on that. Um, but yeah, just so I'd let you know. So anyway, that's a um, bit of an update. Uh, hopefully I've answered questions. So I kept looking. Around. I don't know why I keep looking. But I'm looking at the screen to make sure I'm recording everything right. Uh, maybe I should bring it in far. Maybe I should put the camera there. So I'm actually looking at the camera. Um, and uh, thanks again. Thanks very much for the support. If you've made it this far. Uh, that's why I put thank you at the beginning. Again, thanks for the support. I wouldn't be doing this if it hadn't been for the, for the great support from the community. And as, as, I've, as I said, if there is someone who's looking to invest in 360 video, because 360 video, people find millions of pounds for this stuff, okay? And do you know what? I kind of look at it and think, really? Silly money. So if you haven't got millions of pounds, but you have got some money you want to invest in something, I mean, I'm going to do this regardless. It's just going to take me longer and I might get beat to the punch. But if you if you're interested, get in touch because I've done this before. Um, the last time I, um, I invested, it was my own money. Um, that went a bit pear shaped, but um, that was because uh, <laughs> an American company pulled out the deal. Great, um, that's history now. Um, so I, I've got experience with this stuff, but um, hence the reason why I'm not giving up my day job. Um, but you know, I'll do this slowly on my own. But if you if you're interested and you want to get on the ground floor. Um, then you know, give me a call. You, you know, it's not like this is more like the oh, 
don't want to make myself sound like a new Apple or anything stupid like that, but it's more like the original thing with Apple that someone came along, you know, he put, he put a chunk of money in, and he, look what he got out of it, massive. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be that, because it's not the same kind of thing, obviously, but the reality is that um, I, I just want to be able to do this full time, so it's just a case of that, um, and be able to employ smarter coders to help with this um, because I know what's got to be done I know the technology and I know how we're going to do it I just my brain lets me down at times because I'm getting old now so um, so, yeah, so if you're interested then get in touch uh, the rest of you don't worry because um, no one's going to get in touch they all go yeah but it's not GoPro um, so they, they won't get in touch but um, uh, yeah so that's enough of the advert for the um, the you know the P IPO <laughs> um, uh, in the meantime I'll just carry on to and to, to be fair in a couple of weeks if I sort out this stitching oh, who cares if it, once I'll have it I'll be streaming it'll be on the web and I'll be streaming events it'll cost you know you won't be able to afford it anyway that's, <laughs> there we go thanks very much and I, um, I again greatly appreciate it and um, I'll, I'll speak to you soon I'll try to make I'll try not to make it too long next time thanks very much